Okay guys, welcome to another Ask Zenla. Now, uh, on the Facebook group, there was a question raised, uh, how can we turn off registration? So how can we turn off registration for people that are um, just registering on the site and not buying a course? So I'll give you um, an example. Let's go to incognito window. And uh, just type in here. So, oh, come on the end, there you go. So uh, as you can see, uh, if you're not logged in, you can register here and you go through to registration page um, and you can just basically sign up to be uh, part of the course, uh, part of the site. So uh, I mean, it's, it's a good thing because you can send mails to people. These are people that are interested in what you're doing and maybe the price is too high and you offer um, a discount and they'll buy into your course, which can be good. But some people want it turned off and they want it purely as a membership site and you can't get onto it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So first thing we need to do is come into your dashboard and go to your site and go down to where you see your registration page, which is here. It's normally forward slash register. You might have changed the name of it. All we need to do is come into here and we need to unpublish that page. So let's click unpublish that page. Now, what's gonna happen if I come back into incognito mode now and we go back to home, then if I try to go to that register page now, it's not going to find that page, okay? So the next thing we need to do is remove this from the menu. Okay, so to do that, we're just gonna come into one of the pages to remove that from the page. I'm going to go down to um, edit one of the pages. I'm going to go to the home page. I'm going to select the header. If you've also put the register in the footer as well, remember to remove it from there or any other place on the site where you've put it. As you can see um, from my site in Incognito, I have a big button um, when I'm not logged in and it allows you to register there, which goes through to the registration page, which again doesn't exist anymore because I've unpublished it. So it goes to an oops page. So um, I would need to remove that if I was doing this on the site, but uh, let's go into here now and go to the little gear icon, come down to menu, and where we've got register, we're just gonna remove that from the registration there, and that will remove it, because it's a dynamic block, it will remove it from all of those places. Now, uh, remember guys, if you've created your own block, you're gonna need to move that page by page. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm not going to be able to get into the site without being a or without buying a course so there we go so if I do that now I have no longer have I got access I've got a sign in here and if I click sign in it might say uh, don't have an account sign up um, and what you do there is you can click through and you'll go to that page uh, which is not good so we need to remove this block here so to be able to remove this block uh, this piece here um, we're going to employ a little bit of CSS. So don't get worried, it's not that bad. Um, so we need to locate where that is and basically make it invisible. So it's pretty easy. Inside my incognito window, I'm gonna to go to right hand click and go to inspect. So this is the code inspector. And down here, I'm going to, with this little thing clicked here, it's going to give me all these little things. What I'm looking for is this big block here. This is this big block, okay? Now, I can now use that to create a, um, a CSS style to actually override it. So what I need to do is double click in here for this class, and then I'm using Chrome, by the way. I know I'm in incognito, but I don't have to be in incognito to do this. Um, so you'll have to find, but we're looking for this class here, and then I'm just gonna add it. I'm gonna click add a new style, it comes in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna go visibility and I'm gonna go hidden and voila, it's gone. So all I need to do is I need to take this and I need to paste it into the CSS of my login page. So let's jump back to the site. Let's go back to the site now and jump to my site pages. I need to go and find that login screen. Okay, where is it, where is it? Uh, there it is. I'm gonna go edit there. Now you could put this into global, you could put this into site global includes, but that tag might relate to something else in the uh, site. So I'm just putting it in this page. So here we are here. So there is our little thing. So I'm gonna to go to up to here, I'm gonna to go to the page settings 
and under the CSS you'll notice I've already got some in there I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste that code in there and now I'm going to click update okay so when I refresh my screen now when I go back to my normal site let's go back to our incognito window I'm going to close this down I'm going to refresh you're going to not have that appear let me just go to sign in again I might need to put important by it. Let's go back to page. Let's go in here and put important close brackets. Is that all correctly formatted? Yep. Let's save that let's just check back in here let me log out let me sign in and there we go it's gone so you can see um, that's the code that we use so I'll include that code below so you can put it in there now guys if it doesn't work it means that maybe your classes are different so you might need to look up that CSS uh, remember like I did in here to actually put the important by that tag as well see that so that is our tag controlling that and we've just set it in the page we put that CSS into that page so it's only affecting this page so if that tag is anywhere else in the site it's not going to affect it so if you go forgot your password um, you've got don't password reset so we need to put it in here as well don't have an account sign up again that's going to go to the register page so we need to put it into the reset page as well so where is our reset page where is it password reset I don't think it exists here so not a problem we're gonna to have to put that into globals so I'm gonna go inspect I'm just gonna check this okay it's the same one it's the same class so I'm gonna take that original code and I'm being forced to put this into globals so I'm gonna cut it out of there click update uh, this is the first time I've done this so <laughs> you're seeing me you're seeing me do things on the fly so um, let's go into site probably should have scripted this uh, but it really doesn't matter so I'm logged out now so I need to log back in again let's do that okay and I'm gonna put it into globals so this is gonna ripple through the whole site but it's the only way to do it because I can't get to that password reset page can't find that anywhere so I'm going to go to site I'm going to go into global includes and inside here I'm going to just make sure that you have a style tag both sides so let me just show you the completed code this is what it should say I'll include this style close tag so that's an open tag there so between the open you then have a close tag which just has a backslash like that okay so that's what you need to make sure now I've already got mine in here I've got some more CSS in here okay so I've already got my style at the top right down to style at the bottom so I'm going to put it into here okay and I'm going to delete out the course player and click update and now if I come back into this and we do a refresh we should have this disappear 
So let's try this. I need to just log out. And you need to check all these places because I'm finding it pop up. Here we go. It's off of there. So I forgot my password. I'm going to click that one. And there we go. So I haven't got it in there. So log in. I haven't got it in there. I can't get to it via here. Um, so now we'll test that our course is actually working. So I'm going to, I've got a free course set up already. So I'm going to check that. It's going to incognito. And I can't get to it anyway here. So let's just double check. No. Remember, I'll move this button if I didn't want anyone registering. At the moment, it's going to go to oops page here. So I'd remove this. And I've got a course here. So the course is the only other way that you're going to better get into it. So let's go into here. Access. I've just done a free course here. So here we go. So already have an account. Log in. Sign up. No. So it's not letting me sign up or go anywhere different, which is perfect. So let me just put in an email address here. So is there a way to get through to this? So now let's enroll. So now I'm going to have a pop up box to enter the rest of my details. And there we go. So continue to course. That goes to support. That's good. Yep, there we go. So we now complete the registration. Put whatever you like in there. And submit. And there you go guys so that and now I'm in this sort of membership page which I'm working on so that is how you can eliminate people from accessing your course to create public so if I now log out there's no way you haven't got the register here now obviously I delete this button out and there's no way to go into the site without going through the course and registering through the course so that's how you do it guys sorry a little bit long-winded with that css but you know when you're doing things on the fly these sort of things happen but it's pretty easy so um yeah get stuck in and um enjoy a public unpublic registrated site <laughs>